And we begin tonight with the latest on Yvette Lada. Now, she was the former director of the Corpus Christi Chamber of Commerce Foundation, and she was arrested Wednesday and posted bail yesterday. And our reporter Jeff Dubrov has the details on what led to her arrest. Yvette Lada has been charged with a second degree felony of property theft and a third degree felony of misappropriation of funds in the range of thirty to one hundred fifty thousand dollars. Court documents say Lada spent that money at HEB, CVS, Walmart and other convenience stores, as well as hotels and concerts, all for her own personal benefit. As executive director of the United Corpus Christi Chamber of Commerce Foundation, Lada was in charge of several big events in the area, like the Coastal Bend Lemonade Day and Conquer the Coast. The foundation is run independently of the Chamber of Commerce. John LaRue, the current president of the Chamber of Commerce, was not shocked by the arrest. We knew that the uh, police had been looking into some of her activities when she was with the foundation, so I can't say it was a surprise. Court documents show that Lada had also been assigned to handle the money from the leadership of Corpus Christi alumni and instead spent $40,000 for her personal gain. We reached out to the president of the LCCA at the time, Samuel Longoria, and he told us that they're waiting for the investigation to unfold and justice to be served. Since Lara's departure, the Chamber of Commerce has taken control of the foundation. Since uh, Yvette left, we've managed that within the chamber and people in the chamber are taking time to operate that for the foundations. Lara's arraignment is scheduled for February 7th. In the meantime, the Chamber of Commerce patiently waits for a resolution. We're, we're hopeful the legal system resolves this uh, quickly and gets, uh, gets on with it. Jeff Dubroff, Chris 6 News.